Hey y'all, and welcome to Spare Room. I'm Karen Terry, and today we're going to talk about finding an RPG that's right for you. Some role players tend to enjoy one-on-one -on -one role play. Some role players tend to enjoy groups, and some role players tend to enjoy both. If you're the kind of role player that enjoys groups, and you want to make sure that you're having the best experience possible in those groups, this video is for you, because we're going to talk about how to look at a role play and assess if it's a good one for you to join. So lots of my advice all over this channel isn't necessarily unique to groups or one-on-one -on -one role play, but in this video, we are gonna get into some specifics that really only apply to groups. So first things first, First, we need to think about what matters to you when it comes to a group role play. Now, some role players might focus on the plot or genre of the role play, or if you're more of a canon role player, you might focus on if a particular character you want to play is open. Now, I would encourage you to think a little bit more deeply than that. Those things are a little bit superficial, and if you think about it, that's not really what's going to determine if you have a good time in a particular group or not. So let's instead talk about what can really shape your roleplay experience. First, let's think about what sort of moderation style are you looking for? Do you expect the rules to be strictly enforced, or do you expect them to be more like guidelines? Once you join that role play, you're agreeing to follow their rules. So exactly what the rules are and how they're enforced is critical to knowing if you're going to have a good time in that role play. What about when it comes to how the plot flows? Do you want the plot more tightly controlled or a little bit looser? For example, do you expect the moderators to have events where either you're encouraged to do a certain thing with your character or maybe forced to do a certain thing with your character? Or do you prefer something that's more like plotless, where it's up to the players to drive the whole story? What about when it comes to activity level? Do you expect a fast-paced roleplay where you're going to be able to get on and roleplay all day every day? Or are you busy and expect something a little bit slower and then it's okay to not necessarily reply every day? When it comes to characters, I would encourage you to think about this in a little bit more of a general sense than the specific characters that are open, especially when it comes to canon roleplays. I understand it might be important for you to snag a specific character that you've been roleplaying for years and years, but think about it. Have you ever been in a roleplay where you got the exact character that you wanted and the experience was still awful? The opposite can also be true. You might not get the character of your dreams, but your experience might be really great. Instead, think about it in more general terms. Do you want a roleplay that's open to older characters or LGBT characters or characters of color? Thinking about it in these broader terms is going to help you understand the tone of the roleplay and know if you're going to fit in. These are the sorts of things that really matter when it comes to your day-to-day -day enjoyment of that roleplay. And it's not the specific plot and it's not the specific characters. So I would encourage you to think more deeply about these things and what actually really affects if you're liking a role play or not. So once you've thought about some of those things and sort of have a little list in your head of what those are, you can more effectively look at a role play and figure out if it's something that you would enjoy or not. So that brings us to step two, and that is to read everything that's been supplied for you by the moderators of the roleplay. Now, by this, I don't mean read every single thread for the past months that the roleplay has been open, but what I do mean is to read everything that the mods have written for you. So that's stuff like the rules, the setting, all of the character bios, the plot information, all of that stuff that the moderators have put together to help you understand the roleplay. Next, we need to consider actually joining. Every roleplay is going to have some kind of application process, even if it's just stating what your character's name is or something simple like that. So once you've read everything, you should have an idea of if you might want to join or not, but you should also think about what questions you might have. As a moderator, I would rather the player ask questions up front, even if they seem like stupid questions, than to join the roleplay and not understand basics about how it runs. This is also a really good litmus test for you as the player to figure out how that moderation style is based on how the mods respond to your questions. Once you've done all this, you really should know now if you want to join or not. And don't be afraid if you don't like what you read or don't like what you see to not join. You're not obligated to join a roleplay just because you spent the last hour reading the information about it. 
it can be really tempting once you've invested time in something to invest more time past when you really should. So instead, don't think of it as that past time wasted. Think of it as future time that you might waste if you join something that you're not really into. So there's one other piece that I want to talk about when it comes to this, but before we do that, what other things do you guys consider before you join a role play? Let me know in the comments down below. Now, let's say you're in a position where you're constantly looking for a new role play and you never seem to find one that you want to join. We're going to talk in a future video about how to be effective once you join a role play. So if this is you, stay tuned for that video. But before we get to that, we're going to talk about something else in regard to this. So right now, I'm addressing anyone who struggles to find a role play to join in the first place. Think about where you're looking for role plays. There are so many platforms to role play on. Let's say you're a Twitter role player and you're constantly looking on Twitter. Well, if you're never finding anything on Twitter, consider branching out to another platform. Start scoping out Facebook role plays or Discord or Instagram or Amiibo. Literally everywhere that people gather online will be hosting role plays. So don't be married to the platform of your choice. So at this point, we've spent a lot of time talking about how to figure out what's really important to you when it comes to a role play group. And what it really boils down to is the people. It's not about the plot or the setting or the platform. It's about the people and the particular systems that the moderators have set up for their role play. So don't be afraid to get a little bit out of your comfort zone. You might be pleasantly surprised at what you find. And remember to like if you like this video, comment down below with any questions that you have, subscribe for more videos, click that bell for notifications, all the links to my social media down in the doobly-doo. Thank you so much for watching and make it a great day.